friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda, and I'm happy that you're here today. I am currently speaking as loud as I possibly can, so I'm very sorry if you're having a hard time hearing me. I'm having a hard time speaking, so we're both having hard times, high five. <laughs> if you've been here for the last couple weeks, you know that my family's been, you know, catching some germs here and there. Um, I thought I was feeling totally better, all the way better, and then I lost my voice, and now I don't feel so hot anymore. My throat hurts. I have a headache. Um, so I actually have a doctor's appointment tomorrow with my family doctor, which is, it just so happened to be, because if you're from New Brunswick, you know if you're sick, you don't call your family doctor because it's going to take you a month to get in. Um, you call a clinic or whatever, but no, I already had an appointment scheduled with my family doctor, so hopefully we will get to the bottom of this and figure out what the heck is going on. But either way, it's still Christmas. It's still coming. No matter how many days I'm sick, between now and then, December 25th is Christmas Day. And I'm going to be ready for it. Sickness, no sickness, it doesn't matter. We're still going to do the best we can and have a great Christmas no matter what. So yes, I could take days off. Technically, I could. Um, and if I get the flu, trust me, I will, <laughs> because there's nothing I hate more in this world than throwing up. So if that becomes a part of this sickness, I'll be out for a while. But um, basically, I have a haul that I've been sitting on, waiting to show you guys. And I want to finish decorating our house for Christmas. And there are things that are in the hall that we need to decorate for Christmas. So I want to do it right now. Um, this isn't going to be the most professional vlog I ever put out. That's okay because I think most of you guys are here because I'm not professional. So in classic Miranda style, I'm just going to keep it real, okay? Hit that J-Lo. I'm real. <laughs> I can't sing for shit right now. It's ridiculous. Um, listening to Christmas tunes, trying to sing along. Have holy jolly Christmas. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> literally just gave myself a worse headache by singing. Taking some Advil. I've been taking lots of over-the-counter meds. And I actually have halls right beside me in case I need to pop one in to be able to continue speaking during this haul. So let's get right to it, you guys. Um, the last two days, we've gone to Canadian Tire twice. Once on one day and then I thought about things and I was like, we gotta go back. And then I got some more stuff the second time we went. Um, we brought you guys with us both times. And let me tell you, I very much preferred um, when we went during a weekday, during business hours, like school hours. When we went on the weekend, I actually made it out of that store without taking any meds to calm my titties, okay? So I think I did pretty good. Um, but the place was, it's a ruckus. Like, it's crazy. Everybody knows that Canadian Tire is the place to be for your Christmas needs. And everybody was there. So, I think I'm done shopping there for this season. If I can help it, <laughs> I'm done shopping there for this season. I also actually have a couple things from Marshalls to show you guys as well. Let's hop right into it. First things first, Christmas lights. Christmas lights. We have an artificial Christmas tree that is already set up. Um, it was pre-lit. Um, it's, I think, three years old now. Last year, some of the pre-lit lights, if I'm remembering correctly, some of them died. Um, and then by the end of the season, they all died. Um, so Curtis painstakingly took out all the wires from the pre-lit tree. Um, so now it's just a bare artificial tree. Um, and we did have one set of lights here available that were working, so he put those on, but we needed more. I mean, I don't know if this happens to every family, but I feel like for my family, even growing up, every year was check the Christmas lights, which ones work, which ones don't. The whole set doesn't work. Check every bulb, buy new bulbs, buy new sets, like every Christmas, and... I think that's fun. I know it's spending money, I know, but the nostalgicness of it, it just, it's cool. 
I like it. It makes me feel like a kid again. Even though I'm spending my adult money to buy things that are breaking, I, I still like it. Um, so we got Curtis picked these out. Um, all these sets of lights. I honestly can't even tell you how much they were. Um, he actually said it wasn't the best deal that he had seen. He wanted to go to another store and find different sets of lights for like a couple dollars cheaper. And I was like, look, bro, you can go to that other store right now. Leave us here. We'll finish shopping. You go. Because I'm, I'm not going to more stores. <laughs> so he was just like, ah, oh, whatever. It's a couple bucks. Let's do it. So <clears throat> plus we also know that um, Canadian Tire does have a good return policy. So if these don't work or if there's any kind of problem, um, returns will be able to happen. It's not a big deal or exchanges or whatever. Um, Winnie found these out. Winnie found these. Um, she actually already does have some Christmas lights set up in her room. I put up a set. Um, and Curtis put up a set, but she saw these pink ones and she's like, mom, look, pink lights. And she didn't even say, Hey mom, can we buy these? Please, please, please. Honestly, my kids don't do that. Um, probably because so often I will say, let's get that. Yeah. I like that. Let's get, put it in the cart. I like it. Um, so my kids have never been the kids that are like, mommy, mommy. Plus like, if I say no, they don't ask twice, you know? They just don't. Um, I actually do have really good kids. I'm sorry. Some I get a lot of hate for my parenting and for my kids. But everyone who knows us IRL in real life, they give me kudos. Okay? Curtis and I are doing all right. All right? We're not perfect. No parent is. No person is. But our kids are doing great um, in most areas except for maybe some late past in schoolwork Skylar. <laughs> Grade 11, what are you going to do? Um, anyways... So we got these for Winnie. We're gonna put these up today in her bedroom. She's got blue in there now, so we thought blue and pink together, cotton candy. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So, oh, we also got this little set. This is for one of our outdoor um, animals. I am gonna share uh, a decor, like a home decor tour with you once we're finished decorating. I actually quite enjoy the way that we're decorating this year. We're doing little by little. Little by little, a little bit every day. It's not stressful. I'm taking clips as we go. I don't know if you can see, but this morning while um, I was getting the kids ready for school, I was putting up snowflakes in the windows. And I also washed all the windows today too. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll share that with you soon. But this is for the outside. One of our animals that we have outside is not lit anymore. We actually just bought a new animal, a kitty. And now all the ones we bought last year are currently dying. So I'm kind of regretting buying another one that's probably not going to make it two years. Um, I really don't know. Maybe just outside is just meant for lights only. The blow up things that blow up, I, I like them and they're nice. But our winters are so harsh that those take a beating. Those take a beating. I've seen so many of them around the community that have not made it. And I just don't feel good about spending money on those. Also, we have people that steal all over this wonderful province. Like when people put out really nice things. I remember there was one Christmas, everyone was putting these projectors on their house. And it was like spinning. They all got stolen. Like all of, isn't that sad? Like the Grinch. Hello. Hello. Okay. <laughs> um, this is the first time that we bought this, I think. I, I said to Curtis, I was like, are you sure we haven't already bought one of these? Or like maybe we were gifted one. But we looked through all of our Christmas stuff after we bought it. And I didn't see one. So I don't think we bought it. I think maybe last year I saw it and I asked Curtis, can we get this? And he said, no. Sometimes I don't listen to him. Sometimes it's not worth the argument. So I will just say, okay, fine. And I'll walk away from him. Give him silent treatment for a little while. You know how it is. <laughs> Anyways, this is the tree moat. Um, you plug it in to your outlet, um, or you plug this outlet into your regular outlet. You plug your tree into this. Then you just touch of a button. Tree on, tree off. Tree on, tree off. So much easier than digging down underneath the presents to find the outlet and pull the damn thing out. It is, <laughs> especially when you have a real tree. It's a little sticky in there, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry if this is rude, you guys. I really am sorry. I don't normally like to have candy or gum in my mouth when I'm vlogging because it's distracting. 
but I really need it, you guys. <laughs> um, this we picked up. This is something that I look at, like this style of thing is something that I look at every year. I appreciate its beauty and then I set it down. I don't know if this will annoy me, but I want it on my main door. I want it on the door that we go in and out of multiple times every day. I want it, this house to not only look and smell like the North Pole, but I want it to sound like the North Pole. I just do. The classic gold, red and green. You cannot, you cannot go wrong. I don't think anyways. Ask me in January 1st how much I liked having those bells on my door. They might not make it, um, but I, I want to try it. And it wasn't very expensive either. I think it was like maybe $13, $14. Um, okay, is that all the decorations? Yes, the rest are presents, except for this. This is for a setup in December. That's right. Um, I have been looking for hippopotamus for multiple vlogs, okay? Multiple trips to town. I've been searching for hippopotamuses. Found one on Amazon. Um, one of my friends actually sent me the link. Thanks, girl. Um, but I found candy too. That was hippopotamus. Um, I found a few other little things, but when I saw this, I was like, this is exactly, exactly where my mind was going to when I wanted a hippopotamus for vlogmas for my setups in December every night. It's a lot of work, but it's so much fun, you guys. While we were in the store, Curtis was like, are you really buying that? I was like, yes, babe, come on. Like, honestly, let's be honest, moms. If you have a man that helps you with your December setups, congratulations. <laughs> Curtis has done a couple over the last few years, but it's, it's, it's up here, okay? It's, it's kind of my responsibility. So I was like, babe, just take a back seat here. We're buying the hippo. And then when we got to the cash and he saw how much it cost, he looked at me like this. <laughs> it was $39 plus tax. It was too much. I agree. It was too much. But like, if I had a left it, it was the last one there. And we saw it when we weren't there with Winnie which just made it all the more magical. Like there was only one available. So I'm assuming it had moved somewhere else in the store when we were shopping there with Winnie the day before. But when we saw it there, I, as soon as I saw the hippo, I was like, I guarantee you, it's I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I know it is, I know it is. And I grabbed, I mean, it's pink and purple. She's wearing a freaking tutu. Could this be any more perfect for my family? Did anyone hear that? As Chandler Bing, that's exactly what I heard. Um, anyways, I don't care that it was $40. I don't care. I knew if I left it there, I would regret it for years, probably, because when am I ever going to find this again? Anyways, I'm so excited about it. It's kind of, actually, is it actually? I think it's my favorite thing that I bought for Christmas thus far. And I bought a lot. I bought a lot. I'm not done, but, uh, hmm. I just, I don't know, man. I just feel it. I feel the magic and I'm excited. Okay. So one of the other things I went back for um, was a Grinch ornament, which I saw when I was there the first time. And when I was editing the video together, I was like, Miranda, why didn't you get that? And then I was like, because Miranda, you don't even have enough branches for all the ornaments you already have. And you already bought a whole bunch more ornaments for this year like you always do. You don't need another Grinch ornament. And then I was like, that would have been perfect for Skylar's girlfriend, Luthia. She's from Spain. She's here for the year. And I'm making her a Christmas. And I'm excited. And I was like, okay, like I'm buying her multiple things. Let's add this to the pile of awesomeness. Check it out. It lights up. Are you kidding me? Like, what else says a North American Christmas? Hello? I think Grinch is worldwide though. 
I do. I think Grinch is where he's internationally known. Okay, it's Mr. Worldwide right here. It's not Pitbull. It's the Grinch. <laughs> so for my nephews, um, Canadian Tire has a toy section basically only for Christmas. Um, they might have a little bit of toy here or there depending on what season it is, like for Easter or summer or whatever. But like an actual toy section is kind of just for Christmas, right? So I always like to look through because I'm always in the Walmart toy section. I'm always at Toys R Us. Like those are always there. I know what they have. Um, you know, it's never a surprise. Well, usually never a surprise in there. So I wanted to take a scan through the Canadian Tire. I saw this friggin' Roblox set. If you have children ages 12 and under, you know what Roblox is. You do. Unless you only have babies. If you only have babies so far, you'll know soon enough, okay? Um, it's a very big game, very popular. And also, not only is it a popular game, it's a popular game to watch other people play on YouTube videos as well. So, uh, when he saw this, I was like, do you think Theo would love this? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, amazing. 39 bucks, not a super good deal. But I'm, I'm past the point of good deals okay um black friday if i see some good deals i order I'll, sorry i'll order online but i'm not going shopping in stores because i value my sanity um but other than that i'm i'm in the mindset right now i have like 10 days 10 15 days until i want to be done shopping especially for the kids i want to get everything wrapped i want to be able to put on Hallmark Christmas movies and wrap the shit out of everything that I want. I it's one of my very favorite things to do, you guys. Uh, and that's why I'm excited to do this haul. You guys, I have freaking goosebumps. I have freaking goosebumps just because I'm thinking about wrapping presents. Um, part of the reason that I wanted to do this haul now is because um, I also wrap um, pictures on the wall. I know it's kind of like a maritime thing. Did you guys see these goosebumps? I'm not lying. Um, yeah, we wrap our pictures on the wall. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And Curtis and I are going to do that today. And we're going to continue. We're going to finish our Polar Express tree either today or tomorrow. Um, it's just, oh, I just love this time of year so much. So while I appreciate a good deal, if I see something that I feel like is a really good present and it's not completely breaking the bank. Like, obviously, I'm not going to spend, like, $400 on a toy. But, like, if it's, like, I don't know, $10 or $15 more than what I think it's worth, it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. We don't go crazy. But I want everybody to have something nice, right? Um, I saw this. I can't wait to see Black Panther Forever, Wakanda Forever, I think it's called. It's the number two. Um, Cooper loves Black Panther. It's his favorite. Like, that's his movie, Black Panther. Actually, Curtis and I were going to go to the movies. The only good movie that we wanted to see was, um, there's Black Panther and then there was another one. But the other one we drove Luthia and Skylar to. So we didn't want to go to that one. I can't remember what it was now. Um, but that movie sounded good. And then the Black Panther sounded good. I was like, I cannot go to Black Panther without Cooper. That is like, that is a no-no. I couldn't do it. So, um, but my nephew, Malcolm, he loves bad guys. He loves all things crazy, fighting, loud, throwing, pushing. Like, this is the wild child, okay? And I thought this would go great for him. And then also, it's kind of like a similar, like, action figure and vehicle. Action figure, vehicle. You know what I mean? So... Anyways, hopefully he doesn't have that yet. That's something that, like, with nieces and nephews, it's it's a gamble. It's a gamble. And I really don't like to play the game. Does he have this? Does he have this? Send a picture. Send a picture. Does he have this? Does she have this? Send a picture. It's just, it's a lot when you're already overwhelmed. When you're shopping, you know what I mean? Um, these I found. And Curtis thought they were awesome, too. Um, they're color reveal Hot Wheels. So um, we got three of these for our three nephews. And basically you just dunk the cars. You fill this with water, you dunk the cars in, and you get figure out what car you got. 
it's completely um it's completely covered in um the same stuff that a barbie like i think hot wheels is mattel yeah so we have done the color reveal barbies before they're fun they're fun so i think that's really cool for one for each of the nephews um i snuck this into the cart there actually i pointed to it did I sneak it in the cart? Yes, I snuck it in the cart. The other thing I pointed to, Curtis and I were in cahoots about something. It's really hard to shop when you see something and your child is with you. You have to be as sneaky as possible, right? Because you don't want to like leave it there and then have to drive all the way back to town to get it. Although we probably could have done that because we ended up doing it anyways. Um, but just you never know if it's going to be there. So we try to be sneaky. So I, I saw this. She doesn't need it. I know. It's her birthday too. I just found out. I just found out the kids are in school until December 23rd. December 23rd is Winnie's birthday. And it is Christmas Eve Eve. And they have school that day. I wish so bad they were off that whole week before Christmas. Because before Christmas is more fun than after Christmas anyways. Right? So I don't know if this will be for Christmas or for her birthday. We're pretty much done shopping for Winnie. Um, we spent so much less on her than we did the boys. I am so not done shopping for the boys either. And we've already spent more on them than we did on her. It's age gap, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was my middle finger. It's age gap parenting. Teenagers are so much more expensive than little ones and I think if I tried to level out the amount that I spent on Skylar and Cooper if I tried to level that out with Winnie even with her birthday it's too much like she doesn't need that much it just it's it's impossible I don't even want to give her the money like to say okay well here's gift cards to make up the difference because I feel guilty because I spent less on you than I did rather I don't want to do that either because she's just going to go buy a whole bunch of stuff she doesn't need because I already bought her too much. You know what I mean? So I'm sure I'll get, um, you know, some hate either way, but that's okay. I don't, I really don't mind. Um, I really don't mind. I don't. It's, it's a nice place to be at right now. I am so confident in myself and in my husband and in our parenting. And I'm so confident in what God wants from me that it's like, if the internet warriors really want to waste their time on little old me, then that's just sad for them because I'm already doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So hopefully they can find the same thing for them in their lives. This is probably, okay, I just said the hippo was the most exciting thing. But you guys, <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> My sisters and I growing up, were dolly girls okay we always had dollies cabbage patch tender treasures um the water babies we always had babies we always had dollies we always had um all the mothering things growing up and in my life all i ever wanted to do was be a mom that's all i ever wanted to do i didn't know what i wanted to do for a job i didn't know what um, who I wanted to marry, honestly, when I was young, I didn't know. I just knew that I was a mom and I felt it, you know? Um, so we always had dollies. The reason I'm crying is because I bought dollies <laughs> for my nieces and I don't know why. <laughs> okay, sorry. I have the best family in the world. I really do. And I'm so grateful that we have so many little ones in our lives. What is amazing to me is that Jen, my sister-in-law, and I um, both have PCOS. And we're never supposed to have children. At least that's what our doctors told us, right? Um, I was able to have children naturally. And, well, like with a lot of work and meds at first and weight loss and all that bullshit. But... Um, I have babies and my sister-in-law Jen has babies too, baby, and she is the light of our family and, um, so grateful to get to celebrate another Christmas with her. <laughs> 
and my sister Dawn has a little girl and I don't know why I'm crying. I just, I'm so excited to give these little girls a dolly for Christmas. <laughs> And they're like, it's not just a regular dolly. They're really sweet. So let me show you. Um, oh my heck. Okay, so this is the dolly curtain I picked out for our niece, Jackie. Um, and this doll we picked because she looks like Jackie. Okay, adorable. Adorable. And I can't tell you her name. <laughs> but this is for my sister-in-law. Jen's daughter. Um, I can call her Jenna. Um, she sometimes goes by H. Um, but this looks like her too. <laughs> so I'm so excited to give these to... I almost said her name. <laughs> to give these to my nieces. And when Winnie was helping us, I'm legitimately crying. I'm sorry, guys. Um... <laughs> I swear when you become a mom, there are certain things that really, really tug at your heartstrings and you cannot control it. And for so long, I pushed so many emotions down. It is not good for me to do that. I hurt myself when I do that and I don't do that anymore. So yes, this happens, but it's okay. Um, when Winnie was helping us pick up the dollies for her cousins, um... There was one that she liked the most. <laughs> and so we decided to get that for her. She doesn't know. Um, we schemed and scammed in the store. But this dolly looks like Winnie. And look at the little kitty. She's got the kitty purse right here. And it's pink. And she's got kitties. She's got a little kitty headband. And I just feel like these were... The absolute most perfect dollies. It's like an American Girl doll, but it's a Canadian version. Um, Stella and Finn Newberry dolls. So you know they're not they're not super cheap, but um, obviously that's not why I bought them. Anyways, I'm so excited for Christmas. I could absolutely burst. All right, I think I got myself pulled back together. <laughs> Um, these will not make me cry. Okay, so I have four things that I bought at Marshall's. Um, and I've, Marshall's and Winners and HomeSense truly are my favorite stores to shop in any time of the year. Um, because I'm a, I'm a brand whore, okay? I just am. Um, and that's where you can get brands for less. So I do enjoy that. Um, but also... Shopping at Winners, Marshalls, and HomeSense during this season, you have to be in the right mood to go in that store. You have to be in the right mood because the lineups, it's like Costco in there. Like they really do get wrapped around the building and it's crazy. And you have to wait so long just to cash out, right? Um, so I was in the mood when we went. I probably will be going to those stores all again. But like I said, I'll have to be in the mood. It's not going to be a, like, go to bed the night before thinking I'm going to go to Winter's Marshalls and HomeSense. No. <laughs> it's like, okay, let me see which way the wind's blowing. All right, did I shit this morning or not? <laughs> that laugh! <laughs> you guys, this... This haul's going way downhill way fast. Let me just show you what I got at Marshall's, okay? Um, I got this and this. This is for um, my sister, who's a dog, Lulu, um, two Blue Jays toys. I thought this was a great deal. It's 10 bucks a toy. They're licensed, $19.99. Um, I got this for my baby, Jazz. Um, it's Curtis's, I mean, these are both Curtis's favorite teams, but my parents are hardcore Jays fans, hardcore Jays fans. So it just works out perfectly for them. And I got this for us. And it is like that more durable um, toy material. Jasper gets into all of them, just give him time. Um, okay, I'm making you wait for, for the very last to see my very favorite thing. But actually, who am I kidding? It might be on the thumbnail because it's that amazing. Um, okay, so I got this. I got this mug. Oh, 
I love it. Meleke Miki Maka is the thing to say. <laughs> the breath of my Christmas day. <laughs> um, amazing. Stitch. Christmas lights. Epic. $7.99. $7.99. Like, when I buy... I haven't been to Value Village in forever. And we just... Um, dropped off donations and Curtis got a little slip coupon thing and I'm like I don't even know if I'll use that I don't even know if I'm ever gonna shop there again because I'm telling you right now if this mug was at Value Village it would be like $10.99 plus but you can buy it brand new for $7.99 so like anyways I don't know I do want to continue my mug collection um and when I got out all my Christmas mugs I really realized oh wow you can do more I can do more and I'm gonna. So I got that one. But then, oh, Winnie's the one who scouted this one out first. Shut up. Right? Do you hear the angels singing? It's it's a Kenny Ortega version of Noel. Okay. Joy to the friggin' world. I, I mean, this is absolutely perfect absolutely perfect this one was $14.99 absolutely perfect this is not just a mug that I will use to drink coffee of out of this is home decor at the same time I mean this looks like something you'd find at Disney World so I didn't get to go to Disney World this Christmas season. And honestly, I don't think I'll ever go during the Christmas season because y'all, I'm already too much. <laughs> I'm already, I can't do it to myself. But this is just like, damn, made for me. Happy to have it. And that's the haul, you guys, that's the haul. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get all this stuff put away and I'm gonna start wrapping pictures on the walls and then maybe tomorrow I can start wrapping these dollies and toys and oh my heck it's the most wonderful time of the year it truly is i love you guys so much thank you for bearing with me hopefully i will have my boisterous loud voice is boisterous the word i was thinking maybe i don't know but hopefully we'll be back in action soon i love you merry christmas see you here tomorrow